Hey everyone, welcome back. I want to talk about sarcopenia today. So the very most recent studies and research into human biology, into gerontology, which is just the study of aging, it shows that the number one preventable cause of chronic illness is sarcopenia. That's just simply the loss of muscle mass over time. Between the ages of 20 years old and 80 years old, a human being will typically lose about 40% of our muscle mass if we don't participate in any type of strength training. And so when it comes down to it, it, it seems that the real underlying cause of all of these chronic illnesses is truly a modern epidemic. And that's what we're talking about is that loss of muscle mass, sarcopenia. A lot of, a lot of people will say that obesity is the number one epidemic happening in America. But see, obesity is just one of those symptoms that is caused by sarcopenia. Also associated with sarcopenia are so many more issues that become worse and worse the more our muscles deteriorate over time. Uh, cancer, osteoporosis, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, um, even lower back pain, essentially, uh, type 2 diabetes, depression, anxiety, erectile dysfunction, um, insulin resistance, even osteoarthritis. We're talking about things that cause a weakened immune system, accelerated aging, and premature death, truly. So before I talk any more, I wanted to mention there's links below to read some more on my website about this issue of sarcopenia or to hire a personal trainer to prevent the loss of muscle mass so you can live stronger and longer. Be sure to mention my name and you get a free session with The Perfect Workout. Um, so when we think about elderly, the word elderly, we think of someone who's very frail, has a hard time moving, um, is really weak, can barely cross the street, you know, the whole thing of helping an older lady cross the, the street, you know. Um, and so in 1967, the whole field of gerontology, that study of aging, really kicked off. And um, there was this important study, it was released, it absolutely shocked the scientific world. Um, it detailed the decline in the lungs, the heart, the kidneys, brain function, lots of other organs as well as we age. And this was the beginning of really learning about what the main underlying causes of these chronic conditions are, the, the loss of organ function. And those of us involved in this field uh, and, and the field of modern life extension, you know, we know that that preventable underlying cause is sarcopenia, that loss of muscle mass. Um, so in 1988, a Harvard medical doctor named Erwin Rosenberg, he found in his studies, he says, I noted that no decline with age is as dramatic or more significant than the decline in lean muscle mass. And from there, Dr. Rose, Rosenberg coined that term, sarcopenia. Uh, and it's, it's basically a composite of two Greek roots, uh, sarks meaning flesh and penia meaning uh, loss of. So um, it really wasn't until 2016 that sarcopenia was finally recognized as an actual condition. Um, and I believe it was the International Classification of Disease that finally said, okay, this is actually happening. So, so all of these very new things that are happening, like I said, in biology and gerontology, we are discovering more and more that, you know, actual strength training, real exercise, using the muscles in a very meaningful, intense, and specific way is the way to reverse aging. Uh, any doctors or, or anyone who's under the incorrect assumption still that exercise is walking or, or jogging or doing some sort of steady state locomotive activity they're absolutely incorrect. They're outdated and they need to read a book, <laughs> to be honest. And I know that sounds a little bit harsh, but it's true. Um, because I think that those people are doing more to harm society um, and maybe they should just retire if they're not willing to huh, uh, learn uh, how to keep their patients alive, truly. Um, so that aside, this is, <laughs> this is my soapbox. But there's actually being a case made here to begin including muscle mass as a formally legitimate vital sign in the medical community. This is huge. 
And and look, <laughs> for fear of sounding like a total conspiracy theorist, which which I'm really not, I can only imagine that the pharmaceutical industry would just actively lobby against this kind of thing, you know? Um, because, I mean, imagine if we came close to ending this epidemic of sarcopenia. Just think about that. Big Pharma would lose billions of dollars on medicating the population unnecessarily. So, uh, in 2020, the estimation of sarcopenia-related illnesses in the U.S. costs over $26 billion. That's huge. So, the statistics of really how long it takes to begin losing muscle mass... We turn 30 years old and we start losing about a half a pound of muscle every year. All of this is just different based upon people's genetics, of course. Uh, when we do turn the age 50, that accelerates a lot. We begin losing uh, a full, almost a full pound of muscle that year forward uh, into older age. And so this kind of thing, again, any type of strength training is very useful. Uh, in all of, well, all of, in most of Dr. Doug McGuff's talks and presentations that he has on YouTube, you know, he'll always give these studies that are powerful and mind-blowing, talking about, you know, how uh, people uh, have made these huge improvements and the, the biomarkers of health and longevity, older people especially, seniors, elderly, uh, people with serious chronic conditions being taken off of their medications, most of those studies that he references they're not even using this very fast way uh, that high-intensity strength training uh, really amplifies the speed at which we can gain muscle very quickly. You know, I've worked in fitness for on and off about 14, 15 years now. And in all of my time using any type of strength training, high-intensity strength training, you know, the super slow method that was developed by Ken Hutchins and um, uh, talked about very widely in McGuff's book, Body by Science, you know, this method has been the absolute fastest way that I've seen people gain strength at least twice as fast as other methods. Um, so that's huge. That's, that's a really big deal. Uh, like Dr. McGuff said, aging and the diseases of modern civilization are 100% related to the pathological muscle loss that occurs with aging, aka sarcopenia. So you know, all of this information, this is so little known by the majority of the medical community and the fitness community. Um, but that's changing slowly over time. Um, for those of us in the high intensity strength training field, you know, we're very interested in what works based upon evidence and clinical research. You know, so look, in conclusion, we all want to live a longer life. We all want to be healthy. We all want to feel better. We, we, we all want to be free of medication if possible and to lessen the, the effects of all of those chronic illnesses that come along with sarcopenia. So look, if you're not doing some sort of strength training, please get started today. There's a couple videos here on my channel um, that will do their best to guide you into whether you want to do this on machines or whether you want to do this with you don't have access to a gym. You just It's there at your home, body weight isometrics. You can also get started with strength training today that way. But most of us really do need to be held accountable. And having a personal one-on-one -on -one fitness trainer is the best way to do that. Having an appointment to put yourself on a schedule to where you will do it every single week, regardless of whether you feel like it, you know? And so... Um, it's very powerful. I do work here at The Perfect Workout. This is our Nautilus studio in Clear Lake. Uh, we have studios all over the U.S., but we also have a program that we offer one-on-one -on -one Zoom training from the comfort of your home to guide you into the furthest fatigue possible to get all of those health benefits from the myokines and from strengthening your muscles so you can be more mobile and fight the effects of sarcopenia. Um, it's very useful to have a coach in this method, high intensity strength training is not easy to do. And that, that moment when we get into the deepest fatigue possible, it's not easy to reach that point. And a lot of people, when they start trying to do this method, the body by science method in a gym, they'll think that they're getting to full fatigue and they're really not. And I see this more times than not. And so having someone to guide you at first, and show you what it's like to reach that full moment of fatigue, um, it's very powerful.
also having that appointment as well. So uh, that link's down below. If you do mention my name, that's the only way to guarantee that you get a free session. Uh, you don't have to buy anything if you don't want to, but uh, I urge you to at least check out the perfect workout um, because we're here and we want to help you. This company's mission is my mission as well. Uh, we want to revolutionize the way that people exercise by teaching them the truth about what real exercise is and how to live longer. That's absolutely what we're doing. So um, I hope you got something out of this and I will see you on the next video. I do hope that you live a longer life with strength training. Have a great day.